Hey lovely people, welcome back once again to another exciting episode of Stitches Biz Collection. I'm Miss Stitches. Today in this video, let me share with you how to make this unique handmade beaded bag. Before we start, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button. Let's get started. Materials needed. So you cut your fish line. You make sure it's long enough, you cut it off. I'm using 0.60 mm. You make sure you have the ends of the fish line. And then you pick four beads, fix on any side of the fish line, being it the right side or the left side. Fix all four beads. And then you cross with the fourth bead using the other side of the fish line. Make sure you have the ends of the fish line so one side will be longer than the other you pull it out and then you have your first ring done going on you pick three beads fix one on the left fish line fix one on the right fish line and then you cross with the third bead using both fish lines you still make sure you have the ends you pull it out and then you have your second ring done. You fix one bead on each fish line again, cross with the third bead using both fish lines. You make sure you have the ends, you pull it out. And then you have your third ring done. So you are going to move on with the same method until we have 12 of this. We have 12 rings in all, and I'm going to do that off camera. So we have 11 now and then with the 12th part on this fish line, you fix 3 beads, cross with the third bead, using the other side of the fish line, you pull it out. So you have it turned like this. So we have 12 now and then on the outer fish line here, you fix 3 beads again, cross with the third bead using the other side of the fish line, you pull it out. So you have it turned completely. Then with the right fish line, you go through the next one bead. Then you fix two beads on the left fish line. Cross with the second bead using the right fish line. You pull it out. And then with the right fish line, you go through the next one bead. Then you fix two beads again on the left fish line, cross with the second bead using the right fish line. You pull it out and then you weave on with the same method so you get to the last end. So when you get to the last end with the right fish line, you go through the last bead. Then on the outer fish line, you fix two beads. Cross with the second bead using the other side of the fish line, you pull it out. Then you have it turned. So on the outer fish line, you fix three beads, cross with the third bead using the other side of the fish line, you pull it out. Then with the right fish line, you go through the next one bead. Then you fix two beads on the left fish line, cross with the second bead using the right fish line, you pull it out. Then you go through the next bead using the right fish line. Then you fix two beads again. Cross with the second bead using the right fish line, you pull it out. Then you go through the next bead using the right fish line. So I'm going to move on from here to this end here using the same method and I'm going to do that off camera. So this is what you should get after you are done and we are going to extend it more. So we have three here and we need 15. So I'm going to add 12 more to it. And this is what we have after you are done. So we have 15 on this side here and this side is still 12. So we are going to fold the sides and then we weave the base. So I have my fish line on this last bead. So with the left fish line, you go through this bead here, the second bead. So you have it like this. Then on the outer fish line here, you fix two beads. 
and then you cut with the second bead using the other side of the fish line which is my right fish line you pull it out then with the right fish line you go through the next one bead then you fix two beads again on the left fish line cross with the second bead using the right fish line you pull it out and then with the right fish line you go through the next one bead then you fix two beads again on the left fish line cross the second bead using the right fish line and then you move on with the same method throughout So when you get to the 13th bead with the right fish line, you go through the last two beads here. You go through the last two beads and then you fix one bead and cross with both sides of the fish line. You pull it out. So you have it like this and you pass your SS fish line should secure this part of the work. And this is what you should get after you are done. So this is what we have for the base and the sides of the bag and we have 13 at the base now so this is one side of the bag and i made the same thing off camera the same size the same shape as you can see also 13 at the base i'm going to join it together to form the body of the bag so with the new fish line you go through the first bead on top here you pull it out then on the outer fish line here you fix one bead then with that same fish line where you fix the bead, you go through the first bead on the other side of the bag as well. Then you pull it out. So you have the bead in the middle of both sides like this. Then you pick one bead again and cross it both sides of the fish line. Make sure you have the ends so one side will be longer than the other. You pull it out. Then with the right fish line, you go through the next one bead. With the left fish line, you go through the next one bead. Then you pick one bead again and cross it both sides of the fish line. You pull it out. Then with the right fish line, you go through the next one bead. With the left fish line, you go through the next one bead. Then you pick one bead again and cross it both sides of the fish line. You pull it out. And then you weave on with the same method throughout. So we have the side joining up. I'm going to move on from here to the top side and I'm going to do that off camera using the same method. So this is what you should get after you are done joining the sides of the bag. This is what it's looking like. This is what we have and now I'm going to pinch the ends of the bag or I'm going to fold the ends of the bag. So with the new fish line. You trace right from the base upwards to this first bead here. Make sure you follow the line and then you pull your fish line out from this side. So you have it like this. Then on any side of the fish line, I'm using this top side. You fix one bead. Then with that same fish line where you fix the bead, you still trace from this side upwards to this first bead. And then you go through that bead and then you pull it out. So you have the bead in the middle like this then you pick one bead again and cross with both sides of the fish line you make sure you have the ends you pull it out then with the right fish line you go through the next one bead with the left fish line you go through the next one bead make sure you pull it tight then you fix one bead again and cross with both sides of the fish line you pull it out then with the right fish line you go through the next one bead with the left fish line you go through the next one bead then you pick one bead again and cross it both sides of the fish line you pull it out and then you pass the excess fish line through to secure this part of the work but before that you repeat the same thing we did here on this other side and I'm going to do that off camera So this is what you have after you are done folding or pinching the sides of the bag. This is how it's looking like. This is the shape we have. And we are going to fix the cover for the bag. 
So I made this cover off camera and then I used the same matting method. So we have 11 on this side and then this side is 6. So 11 is to 6. We are going to join it to this side, this way. And we are going to use the same method as we used in joining the bags. I'm going to do that off camera. So this is what we have after you are done joining the sides of the bag. And on this side, we have seven now. So after joining, we have seven on this side. And this side is still 11. So we are going to fold it up. We skip this first bead and then you fold from this second bead this way. And now you count one, two, three. Then you fold, leaving three on this side. So this is how it's looking like. We are going to fix our handle for the bag. So with a new fish line, from this side of the bag, we have three. We are using the middle side of it. And then we count one, one, two, three, four. So the fourth bead, you trace to the middle path. We are working on this bead here. So you fix your fish line on this bead. Then you pull it out. So you have it like this. And then you fix one bead on each fish line. Then you cross with the third bead using both fish lines, you pull it out. Then you fix one bead again on each fish line, cross with the third bead, you pull it out just as we did for the first time. So we are doing this 12 times. So this is what we have after the 12 pass. You can count it, but you can extend it if you want it to be 14 or 15. So I also made this handle off camera. I have a video of how to make this round beaded bag handle. So I'll drop that below so you can watch how to make this handle. And we are going to use this. So we are going to fix the chain we made in it like this like this this is how it should look and please fold your cover well so you won't make a mistake with your handle okay so i'm going to join it to this bead here this opposite bead on the same lane this bead here but before that you fix one bead on each fish line then you cross with this bead so the right fish line will come out from the left and then the left fish line will come out from the right side like this then you pass the fish line through but before I do that, I'm going to do the same thing we did for this side as well. So with a new fish line, you still have to fold your cover well so you won't make a mistake. You count four as you did for the first part and then you trace it on the same line so you won't make any mistake. Then you fix your fish line on that bead we are working on like this. Then you do the same chains we did for this one. You do 12 on this same side of the fish line. So this is what we have after we are done. And then you fix one bead on each fish line like this. And then after you are done, you go through the ring like this. You come out from the other side and then you join you, you go through this bead so we go through this bead here as we did for the other side okay so you have it like this and then you pass the SS fish line should secure this part of the work for the both sides and this is how it's looking like after we are done attaching our handle to the bag so this is a design for attaching this handle and then you can move the ring around as you can see i'm doing so i'm going to attach this magnetic lock or flip to the bag or snap to the bag yeah so i have a video of how to do this i'll drop that below so you can watch and know how we attach this to the bag as well so it should be on the middle path of each side and i'm going to do that off camera so this is what it's looking like after we are done attaching our magnetic snap to the bag. So you just close it up this way and then you fold your cover well to make the bag look nice. So this is what it's looking like. So you can use the bag like this or you add more spikes to it by attaching these fringes to the bag. 
in english we call it fringes in french you can say fonge and in russian you say botrama i don't know if i'm right please pardon me i'm just trying to um, get the words for you so we are going to attach it to this side of the bag you need to measure it with the cover and then you fold it about two or three times and it's the same method we use to attach the zip that i'm using for this that's why i did it off camera so i'll drop that link below so you can watch and know how to attach it so it shouldn't be on the magnetic lock or you won't be able to lock or cover your bag so this is how it's looking like just like tassels so you just close it up like this and then remember to fold the cover to make the bag look nice so you reshape your cover this way and this is what we have for this beautiful bag this is how it's looking like this is just like tassels this is how it's looking like this is so so beautiful and cute you can make this bag in any color of your choice feel free to increase the size if you want it big and you can use any color of fringes or fonge that you want to make your bag nice please give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more and more of my tutorials make sure to comment and share as well stay safe see you in my next video have a nice day and bye